Welcome to Truckee, California. We're here outside of Ride Concepts headquarters and we're going to check out what they've got inside. We've been lucky enough to be wearing our Ride Concepts all summer long as we've been traveling around on our bike park review tour and are super thankful to have Ride Concepts supporting that trip. So we thought while we were in town riding the North Star Bike Park that we'd come by and check out their offices. Let's take a look. What's up, Howdy. man? Corey from Ride Concepts. Nice right to meet on. you. Good to meet you. Welcome to our spot. This is the uh, Ride Concepts World Headquarters right here. Um, let's give you guys a little tour. All right, let's check it out. So in here we've got our uh, complete line of shoes, a little bit of everything all the way around. Um, as you may or may not know, we're a rider-owned and rider-operated company here based out of Truckee. Um, the whole company was kind of developed around the idea that, that we wanted to make a nice, comfortable set of footwear that we could, um, that somebody could ride in every day. Ride every day is our mission statement, and so we have footwear that allows um, anybody and any rider to do that kind of stuff. So the company was originally developed around um, the founder's son was having really, really bruised feet when he would come back from the bike parks every day. So what we did is we came over and we paired with a company called D3O. And let me show you some of the D3O stuff over here. So all of our shoes come with a D3 insole. It's a material that actually um, hardens on impact. So what it does is it basically allows your foot to not fatigue as you're riding along, which goes back to our mission statement of riding every day. So we have 16 models total. Um, and then if you go along with all the different colorways, I believe there's 42. Wow, lots of impressive for a first year. Yeah, we came out swinging, <laughs> no two ways about it. So yeah, we, um, and that 16 does include, we have female specific shoes, we have youth specific shoes, awesome. um, and we do it a little bit differently. A lot of other companies that like to do the shrink it and pink it, um, we actually use specific molds just for the female shoes, which has a little bit narrower heel, different shaped toe box um, that's a little more female specific. Also, what we found when the founder's kid was having trouble um, is that a lot of people use the same stiffness in the sole for a, for a men's shoe as they do for a kid's shoe. Okay. Or obviously an 80 pound kid can't, right. can't be breaking in that. So, um, so these youth shoes, they actually have a softer sole, so it's a little bit more comfortable for the kids to walk around in. Awesome. Um, well, can you show us a little bit about, I guess, the innovations? You might not be able to show us the 2020 stuff, but maybe you can show us where these shoes came from. Absolutely. Let's head on upstairs and I'll give you a sure. All right, cool. So this is our uh, graveyard of uh, R&D materials here. This is where we have dead soles, dead insoles, every dead color that we could never use right there. And um, a lot of different books that we like to read. You like reading? No. <laughs> All right, and then we got the cubicle farm, huh? Yep. So this is the uh, the land of cubes over here. Um, here's just a couple examples of some of the shoes that we've developed over time. As you can see, we've uh, definitely taken our done our due diligence to uh, design, redesign, over design, and back and forth. So this is the uh, one of the original samples of the live wire here. As you can tell, we didn't like the angles, so we would go back and we would redraw them. Um, this was a process that took us about two and a half years, as I said, to really perfect these. Um, but being as, as detail-oriented as we are, we didn't want to release anything to the, to the market that wasn't fully ready to go. We're in a very competitive market in footwear all the way around, so we wanted it to be perfect. So this was one of the original live wires here. Um, and then if you want to look at the wall here, you can see this is one of the sample books that comes through. Okay. This will actually show you everything that's on a shoe before it comes in. So. Um, this is going to be for our transition here, um, which actually ended up in this color eventually when it was done. But you can see that you have all the internal materials, all the external materials, um, the tongue materials, the laces, everything down to the eyelets. So, so this is kind of like your build sheet for what, what every shoe is made. Absolutely. Um, and as you can tell, just, I mean, even from these examples here, this was where the uh, Wildcat began. Um, we wanted to create more breathability on it. So we drew that, we'd send this back to the factory. The factory would then come back with something like this. And they would say, okay, so we've done the holes here. Um, they were once said that we needed more breathability. So we added breathability to the back. Um, we've probably gone through 100, 150 iterations of the shoe before it actually came to market. Um, so like I said, it's been very much a labor of love all the way around to get these shoes absolutely perfect. So before you guys even start selecting materials and, and making your you know notes and drawings on sample shoes, how, how do you even get to this point in the game? 
Well, so it starts to begin with uh, line drawings. So let me show you some of the line drawings okay. and how that development process comes along. So as you can see, it starts as simple, as simple as a bar napkin all the way around. Um, okay. We'll just do some quick hand drawings. Um, we kind of figure that out where we want it and then we'll start to redraw, draw over the top, draw over the top, draw over the top. As you can tell, we're not designers. These are just ideas. Um, <laughs> So what we'll do is we'll kind of come up with a rough idea, then obviously we can dream really big and those dreams can't always come true, so then we actually have to have a little bit of a self-check self system. So we work with some design groups and the design groups will then come back and say, hey, I know you dreamt up this really great idea all the way around, but here's what we can actually do. And there's a little give and take back and forth when it comes down to it. But they'll say, hey, would this idea work? then we'll come back and we'll continue to go back and forth with, with a lot of the design groups to figure out like what's actually gonna be feasible when it comes down to it. It's easy to draw something, make it look really beautiful, but not always something world, that you can yeah. go into production. So we'll come up with the ideas, then we'll come up with our notes on it. Like, let's remove the strap here. Um, should this be asymmetrical? Um, should we do a larger power strap? We kind of will play back and forth with a lot of these ideas and what we can do. Um, and so we'll go back and forth with that. And then as soon as we actually have something locked down, we'll list out all the features and everything like that. And then we'll get a sample. So we'll go from this design process to a sample showing up like the ones that we were showing you earlier. Once we have a sample, then we have a lot of room to wiggle around and put, use different materials, um, create different stiffnesses and things of that nature. So we'll go from design to the aesthetics and then we really dial it in from there with uh, what color the laces are, what materials are we're gonna use for laces, all that kind of stuff. And I mean, we're thinking through everything all the way down to the eyelets. I mean, if you look at the eyelets on our shoes, you'll actually notice that the Ride Concepts logo is on every eyelet that we have. So we really, we make sure that there's no stones unturned by the time that we're actually releasing something to the general public. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything that we can uh, get show any sneak peeks of, or we got we have to save that until later? We're gonna have to save those for 2020. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Man. All right. Well, thanks for the tour. Thank no you worries. for making awesome shoes. Anytime. And, and, uh, really thank appreciate you guys supporting you guys our trip. It's been rad, and no broken toes or slipped pedals on go. our trip. So that's well, awesome. we appreciate you coming up to Truckee and checking it all out. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again. We'll see yeah. you on the trails. Cheers. Thanks, guys.